Hey guys, how's it going? It's Rob Sutton with Bike 198. So a couple of months ago, we made a video detailing what was happening with the market and why pricing was so high and inventory was so low. A lot of that had to do with COVID and the supply chain issues. So I'm not gonna go into every single detail we made in that video. You could check it out in the link above, but a lot of what we predicted actually came true. So let's talk about it. So first off, what are we seeing in the market right now? So if you go online right now and check manufacturers' websites and retailers, you'll see a really big trend. One, there are bikes in stock finally. And not only are there bikes in stock, but you find a lot, especially of high-end bikes, on sale for almost up to 25% of their retail value. Now, if you guys remember up until a couple months ago and starting back to when COVID started, not only was there no stock, but you were paying an arm and a leg if you could get anything at all. So we're starting to see the market correct for all the issues that we talked about in the previous video. So why are these bikes on sale? Well, there's three real reasons why you put something on sale. One, you have excess inventory that you need to move. So it needs to be a better deal to entice buyers to come in and buy maybe something they wouldn't have otherwise because now they could either afford it more or it just is a better deal and they've been waiting on not spending full retail. Number two, you have to price match the competition. If someone else in your market is putting everything on sale and discounting prices, you're not going to move your inventory if you can't match that price. So a little bit of it is the tortoise in the Hair, trying to figure out when to put these discounts in to actually move inventory. And then number three is actually to set the market. If you wanna take market share and you wanna go really aggressive after pricing, you could do that yourself and set the market instead of waiting for someone else to do it if you have inventory that you really need to move. So what's happening with these retailers and manufacturers is that they're finally sitting on inventory except for the COVID demand is not nearly where it was before. You either are already in a bike or you just didn't need one. And then the other thing I'm seeing too is a lot of the sign up for our newsletter of 10 to 15% off of your next purchase, coupons are showing up, where a lot of that wasn't there in the case when supply wasn't where it is now. So we're starting to see some of those trends come back as well. So what happens with the used market when the new market now actually has stock and are giving out discounts. So sales and having product in stock really drives down the pricing of the used market. Ideally, if you're selling your bike in the used market, you want the new prices to keep on creeping up because it just increases the value of what you have. If prices are going down, so are yours. So this means for a lot of people that bought at that extreme price during COVID, the losses are a lot bigger as this market corrects. But what this also does mean is that if you're a patient and you're in the used market right now, it might be a perfect time to buy. For people that are trying to sell a used bike with the demand lower and pricing lower, it's going to make it hard to sell a bike for what they need to get out of it. So they have to have it on the market longer and be more patient. Now, if they need to get rid of something really quickly, it might be a price you might not see again for a while. So what I like to do every now and then is get on proscloset.com and see what they have out there. And you'll notice that there's a tab for sale and they have a lot of used mountain bike and road bikes that are going for a pretty big discount right now, which is a good thing for you if you're in the market. So which parts of the market are hit the hardest? It really comes down to basically those really high-end bikes. One, they carry a lot more inventory age. They carry a lot more inventory dollars and you need to get rid of them quickly because they add, it adds up on your bottom line a lot faster than say a thousand dollar bike would. So you're going to see these 20, 25% discounts on these high bikes and it's going to be a lot larger dollar value, you know, just because math. 25% of $8,000 versus 25% of 750 bucks, really two different things. So if you're in the market for a high-end bike right now, going brand new or a used one, might be a really good time to do that. So overall for the consumer, it sounds like it's good news for you. Everything has shifted from the retail side and manufacturing side had all the power because of the high pricing and low supply to now we're seeing the opposite problem. So COVID did what we've basically never seen before and it took regular market swings and just multiplied them by a thousand. So what's going to happen now is that you're going to start seeing manufacturers and retailers start skinning down on their inventory by offering deals because right now there's too much of it to supply the demand that's in place. Now you will start to see this swing over time. It always does. What's going to end up happening is they're gonna dwindle down inventory and get that market moving. And then once the supply gets back down below demand again, they can start creeping the prices back up because there won't be as much inventory out there. So what I'm seeing is now until about the end of the year, unless something economically goes completely awry, it might be a great time to be in the market for a new bike because you're not gonna be paying that premium and eventually it's going to start coming the other way. So guys, I wanna hear what you think down in the comment section below. Is this what you're seeing in your local markets? We're definitely seeing it here. Hit up the comment section and let me know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Bike 118 for more videos like this in the future. And until then, on to the next one. Thanks guys, see ya.